So here we've zoomed in on the relevant portion of the globe. We can see Siena and Alexandria. Now here, the sun's ray strikes vertically, which by vertical we mean perpendicular to the Earth. Here at Alexandria, it doesn't strike vertically. If I drew a line perpendicular to the Earth, I can see there's some angle here, which we don't know just yet. Now we're trying to find the circumference of the Earth. We found out that as we move further north from Alexandria, this angle actually gets bigger and the shadow gets bigger as well. So it seems like there's some relationship, hopefully a mathematical one, between this angle and the circumference of the Earth. Let's see if we can figure it out. So I'm actually going to start by making a wish list. And this wish list is going to contain everything that I wish I knew in order to solve this problem. And hopefully we'll be able to come back to it later and address everything on it. So I wish I knew this angle. And I'm going to call it the Greek letter alpha. We're dealing with the Greeks. Why not use a Greek letter? And it's pretty common to call angles alpha in physics. OK, so on my wish list, I wish I had that angle, the angle alpha. Now, what are we going to do with this angle alpha? Uh, let's not even worry about how to calculate it yet. What are we going to do with it? Well, Whenever I get stuck on a geometry problem, I start drawing lines, and they usually help me. And since a circle is involved here, or a sphere, but we're only looking at a circular cross-section of it, drawing lines from the center is usually a good idea. So I'm going to draw a line from the center to CNA, and from the center to Alexandria. OK. Now, there's still not a ton jumping out to me. Maybe I'll extend this line. That sometimes helps me see what's going on. Ah, OK. Something just jumped out to me. This angle, alpha, shows up in more than one place. I'll tell you, there are other angles on this drawing that are equal to alpha. Maybe one, maybe more. I'm going to mark some contenders, and why don't you tell me which ones are correct. What about this angle? Is that equal to alpha? Check that box if you think it is. Or what about this angle? Is that equal to alpha? This one? Or what about this one? So for this quiz, just go ahead and check all of the angles that you think are equal to this one.